one of the biggest myths around um, organic farming, which is something I used to believe, is that um, they don't use pesticides. So that's kind of how uh, a lot of people talk about it. And they think that organic farming can't use pesticides, but that's not actually true. So they can use a large list of natural pesticides and some synthetic pesticides. Natural doesn't necessarily mean safer. Um, a lot of times the natural pesticides that they have to use have to be used at larger amounts because they aren't as effective. Um, a lot of them can be more persistent in the environment, like copper-based pesticides that they use can be worse for the environment. And so um, a lot of these regulations sound good to the consumer, but in actuality, it's not translating into safer, healthier, or better for the environment. And actually, there is quite a bit of evidence now showing that there is no meaningful difference in the safety or nutrition of, of organic versus conventional on both conventional and organic, these pesticide residues are at very, very low levels. I mean, we're talking about parts per billion levels. Right. I think what really puts it into perspective is when, um, you know, I've done the calculations and a, you know, an adult woman would have to eat something like 453 servings of strawberries. And I'm talking <laughs> non-organic right. strawberries a day for an extended period of time for those pesticide residues put, to potentially cause some harm. Yeah. And so we're really talking about very, very low levels. Our food supply is incredibly safe from a pesticide residue perspective, whether you are purchasing non-organic or organic. And so yeah. the USDA, they, they do testing on produce and year after year, it shows us that 99% of what they test is you know, the, the residues are far below the tolerance levels. So let me ask this question. Is there anything that you would buy organic? No, I mean, I remember being at the store and just, I like, I wouldn't buy strawberries because those were always at the top of the list. And if they didn't have organic, um, I was always afraid and I wouldn't buy them. And so I really, there really isn't anything that I would say that you should buy organic. Um, you know, Another thing I wanted to mention, too, is that this messaging can be harmful because consumers that, you know, can't afford it, they just won't buy any produce at all. Awesome. Well, food science, babe, uh, thanks so much for coming on the show and giving yeah. us a lot of food for thought, I would say. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs>